And Rav was preaching on food. See, a lot of times if you preach on certain subjects, it offends somebody like chewing, smoking, doing dope, drinking, whatever. It offends people. They know they're wrong. They have to work out their own plan. They have to you, they, they have a plan. Maybe you don't realize that God is pulling them in. They have to recognize they have to make a change. You can't make changes. Amen. I can't make you serve God. I can't make you do anything. Amen. I can't even make you give. Wish you could. You have to freely give. You have to freely worship. You have to freely want to come to the house of God. You have to want to be involved in the church activities. I said, I think Brad was preaching, and he looked back and he said, said to Dick, he said, Dick, he said, if you don't change your eating habits, he said, I see you on an operating table. <laughs> Dick's been with the ministry a long time. Yeah. Yes, yes, Rev, yes. And he kept shoving these greasy hamburgers down. Well, and eating greasy skin chicken. <clears throat> well, you take grease and pour it down the grain, and eventually that grain's going to clog up Love. arteries and everything else. Calcium builds up, whatever it is that they do. So, Dick is getting ready to go in to have surgery, and he is absolutely petrified. Because the thing that he did fear that he was warned of had come upon him, and now he was facing surgery. And when they're going to take and bust your ribs and rip your chest open and take your heart and set it up on, a, on your chest, that's serious. Very serious. But just before that happened, the Lord to told me to go and tell him, and I walked right straight up to you, and you that were there know this would be true. I said, Dick, everything's going to be all right. I said, you're going to come through with flying colors. And I, I could feel this peace come over top of him. Because he trusted in my prayers. And he trusted in me. Because he knows that I wasn't doing it for a show. I was doing it because I was led to do it. Amen. And he took it to heart. And lo and behold, they broke his chest open. And they took his heart and set it up on top and did the surgery. And he came through with flying colors. Amen. All of you know that because that was about 10 or 15 years ago. Amen. Here's the sad part about it. He's still eating hamburgers the same way. Ouch. They're going back eating the same foods that God tried to warn them on. He is, she's not. Huh? He is, but she's not. Yeah, read his heart. If you're watching this, Dick, you better quit. Because the next one might not be successful. Amen. You say, well, why don't you pray for them? Yeah. They'll have to. God said more. When Jeremiah was told to go preach a message, Jeremiah was concerned about their face. And God said, don't worry about their face. Speak my word. You tell Amen. them. Amen. You ain't there to sugarcoat it. I'll use my friends. You ain't there to sugarcoat it. You're there to tell it. And if it takes one person and turns their life around, that's important. <clears throat> Every time I sit down, I think about what I'm eating. You know, they call it seafood. I see it and I eat it. Amen. <laughs> but I'm very cautious. I'm not as off in left field like Pam where she don't want the meat that was on the same burger to touch her veggies that she's going to eat. She's a vegetarian now. But she used to eat the tire out of my deer meat. 